One of the biggest problems that we have actually is guys leaving it really, really, really long to settle down. Peter Pan's commitment phobes. They'll come along to us and they're maybe in their 50s and 60s and saying, oh, I want to have a family. And you might dig down a little deeper and find, you know, with the relationship history that they've had a series of relationships. They're serial monogamous. They've had five year, 10 year, 15 year relationships and they never materialized, they never went anywhere because he refused to commit or he just walked away when the kind of the, the pressure was on. Yeah, well, I met a person and he said, um, my last long term relationship ended because the woman said I was too indecisive. And they lived together um, in, in his house. I said, well, that showed decisiveness. And he said, yeah, I know, but then she still really wanted to get married. And I wasn't able to tell her that I could or I couldn't. And I, and I just ended up losing her. And so he said, uh, so I want you to know that for future reference, I'm not very good at making decisions. Uh, and I said, but hang on, if you know that you're not very good at making decisions and you're aware just of make a decision, that, make again. a decision so you don't have the same er error happening again. I said, oh, but I'd rather if they just knew that uh, that I didn't really or wasn't comfortable making decisions. I said, no woman is going to want to go out with you and make all the decisions. If you're not able to step up and say, okay, here we are. I want to actually get married, start a family, do whatever. That's what women want, I said. And he said, well, I don't know. I'll have to work on that. I was like, yeah, you will. And we're not going to be able to help you with that. That's a you. Um, but then every time, every day we're on the phone, 40 year old men will ring up 42 year olds. They've been out drinking all their 30s, having a laugh, making money, doing whatever, and uh, playing the field, have, having fun. And then they look around and think, geez, I'm going to christenings and communions and confirmations every other uh, week now. I definitely need to start my own, you know, uh, life. And, uh, but I don't really know uh, if I'm ready to get straight into it yet. So they keep on prolonging everything. And they say, I want someone 12 years younger and he's 40. So we're like, sorry, we can't get a 28 year old to agree to meet you. But he's thinking in his head, I want five years before we get married. And two years after that, we'll have kids. So that puts her at 35 then, that'd be grand. Push it out, push yeah. it out. Pushing push everything out. out, prolonging everything. Just because he's totally scared of actually having this child. These, these guys are forgetting that there's women on the other side of that relationship. And the women don't they, stay frozen in time. They don't stay frozen in time. They're not going to wait around. I mean, I don't blame these women for like no. hoping sticks and kind of go, no, I'm, I'll take my chances out there in the, the big bad world of the dating scene rather than stick around and wait on you. to kind of dump me in five years when you decided that. So you yeah. still won't commit. Decisiveness, making a decision, just get on with it. Just plan ahead a little bit more. And don't miss your chance. If you get to your 50s and 60s, your opportunity to have kids is pretty much extinguished. And don't be so arrogant to think that just because you are the guy who can provide whatever and, you know, make a child at any age. That's crude. Yes. <laughs> There's no need for that. It's crude, but a lot of guys do think that way. And <laughs> so you can't think that way because, you know, for obvious reasons. <laughs> so don't be Peter Pan. Yes. <laughs>